Hey guys, what's up? It's Dennis from Dennis World of Bodybuilding. Today I want to talk about Nasser Al Um Before I begin, the topic of the video has to do with Nasser and his former wife, Birgit, German wife. Um, as you know, he lived and studied in Germany before moving to the United States to pursue his career as one of the more successful pro bodybuilders of our industry. And the video, Nasser and Girls, Nasser al and Girls, was one of the most successful videos when you talk about the like-dislike ratio. I think people loved it because of the background music I also included in that video, but I got great response for that video so I was like okay you seem to love that those Nasser videos in general and especially Nasser including girls so I was like okay maybe there is something else I could report on or do a video on and I found something generally as you know it's very very hard to a woman who's not in the industry herself you know as a competitor as a i don't know supplement owner as a ambassador in any means it's hard for guys who are not in the industry at any means to live with a pro bodybuilder especially if that guy is one of the best bodybuilders in the world you know and he's competing at the mr olympia so one of the very very top pros it's very hard to live with them as you fans assume so in an interview in the legendary interview at bodybuilding.com they asked him about that relationship so here you see nasa and here his former wife bigot so and here you interestingly he loved his dog and that doc will be included in my story as well or NASA's world words because I will read you something out a part of the interview and here you see him again with his former wife and of course Milos and his former wife back then and the interview is it's like a four-part interview it's one of the best if not the best bodybuilding interview I ever read in my life <laughs> great it's great okay so let's start so the topic came around when the interviewer asked him, you say it is important to have someone supportive to your goals assisting you. Are you or were you married? And if so, is or was your wife supportive? And then NASA answered back. I divorced at the beginning of 2003. It was a financially costly divorce for me. My former wife definitely got compensated for whatever she did for me. As I mentioned before, it's difficult to live with a competitive bodybuilder, especially a top pro who has to put all their time and energy into the sport. What is also very difficult for a female in such a relationship is that all the attention is on the guy. And not like in most normal relationships, where it is on the female pro bodybuilders are basically male <laughs> beauty queens who require more work than the average guy often the wives of these guys have a shadow existence they do benefit from the success speaking about lifestyle money and prestige of their partners but they do still feel neglected I definitely had a very helpful and supportive wife, luckily not one of those who had a drug problem or an alcohol problem or and a family problem like most females do. A bodybuilder should have either a very supportive partner or no partner at all. My former wife wrote down and counted my daily calories of all my countless diets for over 10 years. And I was eating a meal almost every two and a half, two and a half to three hours. I do not know anybody else who will do that or would be doing that. 
For my career, I had the best possible understanding, support and help, no doubt. So in the end, I did not mind giving her $70,000 for getting my Akita Sato dog back from her. Originally, I told her attorney that she had kidnapped Sato, but her attorney told me that an animal was an asset and could not be seen as kidnapped. <laughs> so that was the cr crazy story of Nasser al Sambadi and his former wife, Birgit. And, of course, the dog, Zato. So here you see Nasser with one of, and you see the journals in the back, you see it's his 99 1999 Arnold Classic first place trophy. You see NASA with a magazine and you see one of his journals that his wife wrote for him. So re she really documented everything he did during those years regarded to bodybuilding. That's crazy. And that's his dog, Zato. Yeah, so he basically paid a huge sum of money to get her compensated. And like he said in the, <laughs> in the answer to that, origi originally he told her attorney that she had kidnapped Zato. But the attorney told that, like, a, like he said, the animal is an asset or was an asset and could not be seen as kidnapped. So that was basically the story of NASA and his relationship with his former wife, Birgit his dog, the divorce, and generally reading that, hearing that, you see and you get, um, basically you get to know how difficult it is to be with a bodybuilder because if you're as huge as NASA was, um, of course the attention will always be on him, people will always come to him ask him question where normally in the relationships like he said it's not that way it's the opposite so i hope you enjoyed my video if you did write it in the comments and if you really enjoyed it write in the comments the hash write in the write the hashtag more of nasser because then i know okay you liked it and you want more stories of the great Nasser al Zawadi. I hope you will enjoy and like the video. Subscribe to my channel. Bye.